Hello everyone and welcome back to Silent Hunter 4. It is the month of December 11th, 1941. Or is December 11th. And we are continuing with our mission. So, World of uh, or War Thunder has come out uh, with tanks. And I haven't been putting up any tanks footage, which hasn't doesn't mean that I haven't been playing tanks. I have, but Please. I haven't really considered anything uh, worthwhile enough to put up. It's mostly the same old, same old. There are a couple of changes. But, uh... I wanted to continue with my, uh... Silent Hunter... Campaign. So, we've seen an airplane. Same strategy as last time. Aircraft spotted. Yes, sir. Crash dive! Emergency dive! Where is he? Yes, sir. Dive plane set for steep dive. Two, three, two, nine, and thirty-six thousand feet. There's no way he's gonna get here in time. But he is closing. Three, two, nine. Somewhere over here. Hmm. Suppose we could turn twenty degrees to the right. Yes, sir. New course. One nine. Yes, sir. One new course. No, we want to go more than one. that, but should be enough. Okay. Surfacing. Single contact. One, four, bear. Zero. One, eight, zero. Medium range. Dun dun dun. I surfaced too early. Get on that gun. Shoot him down. Probably gonna turn around on us at some point. Uh, flank speed. Yes, sir. Ahead flank. Yes, sir. New course. Two, three, Forty three. degrees. Yes, sir. New course. Two, three. Wanna three. do it? Turn around. <laughs> He's out. Good weather. How do you get off? You step over here, I imagine. Kind of a pain. It's like you have to step up here, and then you have to step over here like that, and then you can get down. Of course, I think there's supposed to be a hatch in here. Hmm. 
there is, of course, a hatch right here. Is he still around? Nope. Yes, sir. He took off. Yes, sir. But they do know I'm here now, so they'll probably yes, send out more ships or planes to try and mess with me. Single contact. Barry. Six. Long range. Comfy 10 nuts. Okay, just speed up. Probably is going to spot us. Of course, then again, it's nightfall, so it'll take them longer to actually spot. Yeah, he's probably not going to show up. Too dark for him to spot us. And yeah. Well, that's been 15 minutes, so he's way gone. Pack news. Germany will declare war on the United States. The U.S. Congress will not be outdone and declares war on Germany and Italy. Japanese forces have been turned back at Wake Island. Good job, boys. Yeah, not for long. But of course, if I knew stock exchange prices back then, and I was... If I, yeah, well, actually, I don't know those, so... Even if I was thrown back, then I couldn't capitalize on it. What am I doing? Close two hundred. This could be an interesting one. All right, two hundred's over there. right where I don't want him to be. And I can't see him. Okay, I think we're in the clear. Let's give it 15 minutes.
game. Speed up time and continue on. Fifteenth, we should be out of here for sure. Or the sixteenth at the latest, I imagine. Well, craft be advised, Japanese invasion of Borneo. Borneo, imminent. Request assistance and aid from chill craft in the area. I don't know what how to pronounce that, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I realized in the last video when I was watching, I said that I called the Philippines an island. Um, I don't think it qualifies as an island. I mean, it's sort of an island, but... It's just a little bit... Yeah, I guess it's if Tokyo is an island, or I mean if Japan is considered an island, the Philippines is an island. Oh, here we go. Borneo. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Bronio? Don't know. Continuing on. I should go get in a fight with a destroyer or something. Uh, this looks all wrong. Oops. I meant to hit backspace, but I hit escape instead. Too many keyboard control mechanisms I've been using lately. Okay, that looks like some place we can invade. Yes, sir. Returning to course, sir. Typically, they don't recommend you do this, but... Uh, Seeing as those planes don't, I think it's because planes don't spot. Invading ports is relatively easy, especially in early war, because there's no landmines and there's very few submarine nets. But the best way to avoid submarine nets is to go straight down the channel. So, where the boats would typically be going, just go the way the boats would go. And you should find no trouble. Okay, so our guys picked up something. Warship, moving away. Bearing. Three, one, four. Long range. Let's speed up time here. Their conditions are less than ideal. Contact, merchant, moving away, bearing three zero four, long range. 
No. Let's just continue on here. Where's the merchant? Where's the warship? I suppose there's no real concern. Radar doesn't work right now. That's right. This would be easier if I had radar. I just have to rely on the old Mark One eyeball. I'm going to see by this phone. You can send me a call back from the. Uh so, I'm going to save here. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Oh, I got a call coming in from, um, Far away away from this. Okay, when we're five nautical miles away from the land, we'll dive. Oh man, no one's gonna see this in the weather. Especially since it's night. See if we can sneak into that port and see if there's anything to shoot. And if there's something to shoot, we're gonna shoot. There's nothing protecting this place. Except maybe potentially some ground. Or, yeah, <laughs> some land well, units. I am hungry. What are we doing? Hey, I mean, like, run through the water, right? Yeah. Wow, that periscope sucks. Okay, let's switch over to the night periscope. There's no way I'm going to see anything with the attack periscope right now. Shallow to use the night periscope effectively. Yes, sir. Five, one. So I said less than ideal conditions. Yes, sir. Five, Yes, sir. 
course, actually, this guy has a bit of an advantage. Yeah, he does. This class of ship, I should say. He. Oh, they're gonna get mad at me for saying, referring to a boat as a he. But I don't care. I'm not a traditionalist. Definitely more of an anarchist. Check it out. There's no thing on this thing. This is what we look at. We stare at nothing. Because the game developed... Oh, is this it? I guess... Yeah, that must must be it. Yeah. Okay, I'm wrong. Good. Because that would sacrifice it. Wasn't. It would break the illusion too much, man. I don't like my illusions being broken. What's in this way? What the hell? Yes, these are very realistic captain's quarters for a U.S. submarine. Not. <laughs> uh, U.S. submarine's captain has his own room. So. They just copied and pasted the control room from the German U-boats. Now I can see stuff. Well, this should be pretty straightforward. Thank you. I am aware. Guess I should look through the thing and see if I can see anything. Looks to me like there's nothing. Do you see anything? Because I don't. Probably not going to find anything in here. Two CO2 is minimal. It's only five nautical miles. So what can we see now since we're in the channel? Still nothing. Just so much nothing. I don't see any land units whatsoever. Nothing of any interest. <sighs> Looks like we just came into a port that has nothing. Usually I come into ports to try and get extra cargo, you know. Alright, let's continue on. So, what about this port? Is there anything in here worth attacking? No. This is a completely wasted trip. There's nothing here. Let's get out of here. See what happens when we just tell it to go like straight back after. If it'll be able to No it won't, for sure. But sure you go straight down the channel as much as possible. Most water, deepest depth. Less likely to hit anything. Well, that was completely worthless. Get over there, we'll surf 
surface. I guess we'll go yes, that away. Returning to course, sir. Yes, sir. Assumed a bit of battery. Surface. Well, that was incredibly uneventful. Let's hope this mission is over soon. Yeah, it should be over, like, any second now. Fox traffic received. Japanese troops have landed in... Borneo. Bor... Bernie. Borneo. That island of which names I cannot pronounce. Cool. Japan. Very honorable. Hopefully this mission will be over soon. Oh boy. There's a convoy. East. By North East Task Force. No, I want the uh, this one, I think. East by North East, 90 degrees East by North East. Half of be 45, half of 45. That's half of 45. 22.5. Okay. It's going that way. Uh, let's make a line. Some way like that. So the only thing that is now prevalent yes, is catching course, up with that yes. task force. Is there even a way to intercept? Probably not. Yes, sir. Returning to course, sir. Yes, sir. a lot of fuel here. Yes, sir. Returning to course, sir. Yes, sir. I want to stay actually five nautical miles outside of that. get there in eight hours. They're moving fast, but they're not moving very fast. Okay, let's try and not burn too much fuel here. Objective complete. Excellent. Returning to 
course, sir. Yes, sir. So hopefully, if everything works out, we'll run into a task force. But they may have been... I mean, they were moving fast, so... They might already be, like, gone. Hmm. The only thing that can be is a uh, airplane. Visual contact, speed of time. I'm guessing we have a big old bow nothing. out of proceed directly area 11B and stand by for further orders. The heck is 11B? Boy, I sure wonder what those orders are gonna be. It's not gonna be like sink enemy shipping, is it? This guy's gone. There is no point in continuing our efforts this way. Yes, sir. All stop. Yes, sir. Returning to course, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All stop. Yes, sir. Returning to course, sir. Yes, sir. Must be those guys, maybe? I'm not sure. Radar contact. Man, this is boring. I gotta tell you what, being a submariner is like the boringest job in the universe. Man, I should really put that down. Are we diving yet? He is way too close for comfort.
Saltwater depth to kill. Let's wait. Fifteen minutes. Yeah, why bother? Just ten. Current depth two zero zero. Yes, sir. A head standard. Yes, sir. Returning to course, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, my zero. gosh. Very one. Zero. Zero. Long range. That must be the guy we had just encountered. Because he's... T this is TMO, after all, and it's made... Airplanes more realistically dispersed, which is quite nice because uh, the way Silent Hunter worked before, especially, especially uh, U boat missions, it was just broken. I mean, I was in 1943. I was a U boat moving up here, and I'd just constantly be getting bombed by Allied. <laughs> anti-submarine airplanes. Just like, oh yeah, yeah, you know. This entire area in 1943 was being uh, totally surveilled completely by American anti-submarine airplanes. It's like, come on. <laughs> so, TMO fixes that. Showing up. What the heck? Oh, that's just that. Engage and destroy any enemy shipping. Man, did I call it. Okay, by enemy shipping, I assume you mean attack this port right here. Because you have granted me autonomy. I am getting bored out of my mind. That's why I attacked that in the first place was because I was like, hmm. Yes, sir. To court, sir. Yes, sir. There's, uh, nothing to do. The only thing I could think of to do would be to, if I really wanted to push it, was go up to Tokyo and try and invade Tokyo, which I've done several times, but I'm not going to do, because whenever I invade Tokyo, I've done successfully numerous times. You should know there's a for sure, for sure there's a submarine net right here. 
I know that one. I think there's one here too, which is why you always want to go straight down the channel. Go here, go here. Uh, and then you can actually surface in this area, kind of, and recharge your batteries. Besides, if any destroyer comes over to try and mess with you, you can dive to deep enough depth to escape him in this area. I mean, if I pushed it up right, it's like five nautical miles. Five nautical miles, and then five. So, yeah. Basically, right in this area, right here, you can surface and recharge. Oh, you're actually kind of too close to that guy. Um, I can't read that. Yeah, right there, right here. This is this is your safe zone. You can recharge your batteries right here and have enough juice to go all the way into here and then go all the way to Tokyo. You can attack Tokyo and it's actually really not that hard to do. But the reason I'm not going to do it is because... Um, uh, hell, I, maybe I should do it. But the reason I don't want to do it is because it screws up the game. Tokyo is so buggy that as soon as you go into Tokyo and you come out of Tokyo, for some reason your time compression gets messed up. Because some kind of function isn't working, and that function screws up everything. And it just happens if you go into Tokyo. And I don't know what it is, what kind of bug it is. Of course, it's never been a draft. This is Ubisoft, after all. And Ubisoft is really not a very good company. Frankly. Um, so, yeah. So, instead, we're going to invade here. And I'm going to dodge this guy a little bit. Actually, you know, maybe I will go up a bit. Maybe I should invade Hiroshima. There's a possibility of... Generally, I've invaded Hiroshima before. It's actually... Hiroshima is quite a bit easier to get into than uh, Tokyo. Tokyo, man. They do not make it easy compared to Hiroshima. The biggest problem... Although, invading Hiroshima the last time I did it was all fogged in. It was perfect conditions. So getting past this little part was like super easy. It's just like, whoop. And I'm sure in real life would be quite a drag. Which is why I should do it again. And then I'll see Bungo Pete. Man, that's, yeah, I'm going to have to do that after this. Because I might want to refuel before I... Huh, should I just invade Hiroshima now? Aircraft speed. Spotted. Yes, sir. Crash time. Emergency dive. Emergency dive. Stop. Yes, sir. Dive plane set for steep dive. Check the way over there. Oh shoot, I just turned into him, didn't I? Yeah, I did. That was brilliant. Let's just turn to the south. Yes, sir. New course. One, seven, six. Yes, sir. New course. One, seven, six. Rub, rub. Oh my god. Oh man, he's right on top of me.
Wow. That was close. <laughs> Stupid hard drive. I don't have enough space on my hard drive, so when it starts to get low, it starts to hiccup a bit. Which, of course, means I should be getting close to ending this adventure. Passing thermal layer. Burn death one eight zero. Um let me look at my hard drive space. Real Burn quick. Death, I'll be back zero, in a sec. Zero. Okay, I definitely am running out of hard drive space. So um I'm gonna pretty much wrap up this video here. And, uh, we'll save this. You, we'll call it, for you to, to. And then we'll pick it up in the next video. Thank you for watching. Uh, maybe I'll get some more War Thunder videos up soon. But I kind of want to just keep on playing this. Um, uh, we'll see how it turns out. Uh, okay, thank you. Bye.